there's evidence of, you know, the indigenous Kalinago people I referred to earlier, who actually they're the last uh, surviving community of Kalinago still live on the east coast of Dominica now. But early writings demonstrate that the Kalinago uh, had a very intimate uh, use of the forest to grow fruits, vegetables, whatever that might be, through selective, essentially, you know, choosing which forest trees would produce fruits for them, planting crops underneath them, and integrating in these large systems that didn't require the monoculture, the raising of forests that we see, uh, you know, Western agriculture really take off from the 18th century on. And so using that basis of agroforestry, early colonizers, early settlers who set up coffee industry on the island started understanding that coffee grows better under shade. It has uh, better health outcomes. There's less disease under shade uh, traditionally. The quality is increased, right? Coffee naturally is an understory crop where it grows you know, wild in the Ethiopian highlands it was grown under cloud forest. And so early coffee growers, coffee planters there, there's historical documentation that they would select specific, primarily endemic trees to plant as overstory above their coffee. Um, so okay. all of these aspects of agroforestry that we would call it are ingrained into the legacy of coffee production in Dominica and agricultural production going all the way back to the very first arrive, uh, human arrival on Dominica. But then we start uh, looking into how can agroforestry play a role going into the future? So there's a lot of attention that's been turned to agroforestry uh, in coffee production worldwide, not just for quality, because shade coffee, again, has higher quality, but also for the ecological and sustainability role that it plays. Uh, when you have trees growing in a forest system, uh, you have a lot more uh, water absorbed by the soil in that way. There's less chance for soil erosion and landslides yeah. in, in those areas. Uh, biodiversity increases, not just from the plants, the large trees, but from all of the networks of fungus, microbacteria, all of the, you know, air plants, epiphytes. Then you go into the birds and the mammals and, you know, you create an actual living system as opposed to this very sanitized monoculture row cropping uh, that you'll traditionally saw in sun grown coffee, right, which right. still exists. You know, it does produce higher yields, but at the cost of the land quality, at the cost of the quality of the coffee as well. Um, so for all of those reasons, we started looking into agroforestry and then now particularly in the context of hurricanes and climate change, which is the forefront of what we're trying to uh, set ourselves up to address the when we visited farms in the interior of the island where coffee is grown right now after the hurricane the biggest thing we heard from farmers time and time again is that the farms that had windbreaks which are essentially rows of trees as a kind of living fence around a farm fared multitudes better than the farms that had cut down their windbreaks you know for charcoal okay. production whatever so we realize, and, and there's a lot of evidence now to point to this, is that windbreaks do exactly as they say, they break the wind. And so when you yeah. integrate a forestry system where you have essentially a, a wall that surrounds your crops, and then when you talk about agroforestry covers your crops as well, you can break the harshest impact of those winds. And now when we're talking category five Hurricane Maria, we're talking about 175 mile an hour plus winds. And yeah. time and time again, I saw farms that integrated that windbreak and had healthy windbreaks set up around the perimeter. Uh, the crops within the farms fared multitudes better. And then the last piece looking at climate change and, you know, what we've seen already in terms of higher temperatures in the Caribbean, higher precipitation rates, right, which is a feedback loop from that, those higher temperatures and increased evaporation. Uh, Agroforestry in the presence of trees through scientific studies has been shown to decrease temperatures uh, where trees exist by about two to three degrees uh, Celsius on average. And so okay. with a crop like Arabica coffee that requires slightly cooler temperatures than you can get in a lot of Caribbean island nations.